Hey guys, how's it going? Toby Lacosta, National Executive with Paycation Travel UK, coming to you with a really quick network marketing school training on two things. Number one, how to conduct yourself on a freeway call as the team member. And number two, how to conduct yourself uh, in events as the team member. Now, you know, it's no secret that people don't join the, the, the company, people join the people, you know. So when your prospect is in that situation, you know, of, of in maybe an event or a freeway call, they are really looking at the person who's introduced them to this opportunity to see if that person truly believes in what's going on and what this opportunity, you know, has to offer. So just really focusing on the first one, freeway calls. So as a team member, how do you conduct yourself on a freeway calls? What's the best thing to do and the things not to do? Now, let's say you've got your upline, and you've got your prospect, okay? And you're the team member. So you've edified your upline, you know, as the person who's credible, the expert, the person who has all the information, you know, to give to the, to the prospect. You know, in this situation, you just simply want your upline to paint the picture for your prospect. So your prospect can understand what's going on and your prospect can be further educated to make an informed decision to get started with vacation travel. At that moment, you know, in this process, you simply want, as the team member, to be taking notes, pen and paper, pen and paper, pen and paper, taking notes on what your what the upline is saying. Because one day you'll be doing the same thing, you know, or maybe you're, you are in, a, in the process of doing the same thing as an upline in terms of closing people on the phone. So you really want to be taking, <clears throat> excuse me, you really want to be taking notes. Now, what you don't want to do is discredit your upline by interrupt, interrupting him. You know, you don't want to butt in the conversation. You don't want to then go ahead and give your opinions. You don't want to, you know, start talking over the upline and taking a conversation, you know, off on a completely different tangent. You know, because that completely disrupts the uplines flow, the communication, you know, and this can be very, very detrimental to the call. It could result in the prospect not signing up because it doesn't make sense for you to edify the upline and bring the upline onto the call to close the prospect. But you're the one doing the talking. You know, what's the point of having the upline on the call? So you really want to allow your upline to do what your upline does best and Sometimes it's best to really just mute your mic, mute your mic and sit back and uh, and take some notes, you know. Sometimes your upline will call the team member into the call and say, hey, don't you agree with that? You know, you know, if I was the team member, maybe the upline will say, hey, Toby, don't you agree with what I just said? Hey, Toby, you know, uh, don't you think this is a fantastic opportunity? If your upline opens up the floor for you to have a, an opinion, you simply don't want to take more than five seconds you know, of your upline's time or of the time on the call. You really just want to agree and say, yes, absolutely. It really is a fantastic opportunity. That's it, you know, or, you know, you, you maybe just want to further validate what your upline is saying. You really don't want to continue speaking and taking it to another, you know, dimension. So very important, allow your upline to do what your upline does best. Now, that's the freeway call. Events. Events are key. Events change lives. And if you can get the right mood in an event, you're really giving yourself the best opportunity, you know, to allow for prospects in the room to get signed up. Now, in events, you will have your upline, maybe the presenter at the front of the stage. Now, as the team member, you may have some prospects in the room. You want your prospects to feel as comfortable as, as possibly could be, you know? So you really want to, it's, it's actually your role and your responsibility also to create that mood, that ambience, you know, that environment for your prospects to feel comfortable in and to feel excited, you know, and um, these are the ways to do it. You really want to focus on what the presenter is doing and what the presenter is saying. So sometimes the presenter may, you know, um, may tell a joke. As the team member, you want to laugh. <laughs> you really want to laugh. Even if you've heard a joke a million times, it's your responsibility to create the vibe in the room, to create the sense of excitement in the room. So you want to laugh. You want to encourage the, uh, the presenter. You know, the presenter may, you know, simply say, you know, does anyone agree with what I've just said? You know, 
you want to be the first one putting your hand up and saying, yes, I agree. You know, the presenter may interact with the crowd and say, hey, shout out some destinations. Where are you looking to go this year, guys? You want to be the first one saying Dubai, America. You you want, it's your responsibility to energize the room as well. You know, because when all of that stuff is happening, your prospect in the same room as you is watching you. And they are seeing that you're super excited about this. They are seeing that you're super pumped up. You're engaged in everything that's happening. And they are feeding off your energy. Before you know it, they'll be laughing at the jokes. Before you know it, they'll be putting their hands up. Before you know it, they'll be interacting. And when they're interacting and excited and doing all of the positive things, and, you know, they're so comfortable, when it comes to signing up and making a decision, what do you think the answer is going to be? Yes or no? Most times, guys, nine out of ten times, it's, it's pretty much a yes, you know? You know, whether they got the money today or tomorrow, that's another issue. But it's pretty much a yes, this is really good, I'm excited about it. I feel comfortable, I feel happy about it, and I really like what I'm hearing. Now, here's the flip side of how it could go wrong as a team member and what you don't want to do. As a team member, when you're when the presenter or the upline is presenting and they're telling a joke, you don't want to be the guy in the room not laughing, you know? Even if you've heard a joke before, you know, because what you do reflects how you see the business and how excited you are about this business and your belief levels, you know, with this business. Now, you know, your upline may say, does someone agree? You know, you don't want to be the last one with the hand up. You know, you don't want to be the person maybe going and taking a toilet break. You know, you don't want to be the person fiddling around with their phone. You know, you don't want to be the person maybe listening to music. You have to remember You've got prospects in the room, so you have a responsibility, you know. So you, it's really your job and your responsibility to create that dynamic, exciting, you know, atmosphere in the room, the, the electricity in the room where people are just like, wow, that event literally changed my life. That event literally, you know, opened my eyes to, to something I've never thought about before, you know. So that's part of your responsibility. So you don't want to be doing all the things that, that disgaged you from what's going on you know so that's very important to understand now um thinking about the prospects you have to understand the prospects are here not just listening to the information that's being presented but they're also looking at you they're looking to see if you're engaged they're looking to see if you're really serious about this and they're looking to see if you really believe in what's going on so you know the expression on your face you know what you're doing your body language all of that stuff will tell the story that your prospect needs to know and it could be the difference with a sign up and not going to sign up so you know those are the main two points you know when it comes to freeway calls and events how to conduct yourself as um as a team member it's so important i think it's something that may be overlooked in our industry something that maybe the newest person doesn't learn maybe you know after after maybe three to six months you know after going to events but it's something that if you can grasp if you can get your head around at the very beginning of your network marketing career you can really understand how to maximize these moments and ensure that you are really uh, uh positioning your prospects to get signed up to, to to sign up sorry you know so that's so important to understand so important to get hold of and um yeah guys i really hope that helps Definitely share this with your teams. And uh, when you're doing events, create the atmosphere. Support the person who is presenting. It's your responsibility as a team member to laugh at the jokes, to agree, you know, to, to nod your head, you know. Support the presenter. And on the freeway call, support your upline by not interrupting and just agreeing when the floor is open for you to agree, you know. And being ready at the end of the call with your website to send over to the to the prospect to get them signed up you know so it's, it's it's so many skills that you know over time in your career you know with vacation you will learn the craft of how to do things at the right time so uh, i hope that helps guys you know share this around with the teams and let's build vacation uk together the right way take care